everyone uh here we are again with some crafts uh this week we are going to make these fun paper cardinals um they're super cute i love cardinals you can see them really good in the winter and they look like they're flying and yeah so i hope all of you that have gone back to school this week have been enjoying it and those of you that are going back next week i'm sure you're really excited and here we are we're gonna go with the craft all right so in all of your bags you're gonna get this sheet and it's gonna have three different cardinals on it i'm gonna use the biggest one so you can see it um if you want to do a smaller cardinal that's totally up to you but I'm just going to use the biggest one because that will be easier for you to see. I didn't pre-cut out my stuff like I usually do, so you're going to get to watch me use my scissor skills. around a birdie here. Cardinals are actually one of my favorite kind of birds. I have my first bird cut out. You will also get in your bag two sheets of red paper. I'm going to trace my bird onto one of my sheets of paper. All right, so I've traced my bird. Can't see it super well. You can kind of see it up there. Um, but now you're gonna fold it so that you have two layers of paper that you're gonna cut through to make your bird, so that you're gonna end up with two cut out birds. See, so here's my drawn on bird. Let me see it the best. You can see it there, um, and I folded it over so that when I cut, I'm gonna end up with two birds. That is important and I will show you why. So now I'm cutting out my birdie again. When I cut things out, I like to cut out the general shape and cut off all this extra paper before I go in and do the little the little bits or get really close to the lines because sometimes that makes it easier if you're not trying to manage all that paper. That is how I like to cut things. birds. I have two cardinal cutouts and we're going to glue these together right on top of each other so that they line up. So I'm going to get my glue stick. 
Um, as always, if you don't have a glue stick, you need one to do this. Like Caitlin or I know, I will be happy to get you one. Put glue all over this. And then, so I've got one gluey bird, one not gluey bird. I'm just going to line them up. Works best if you line up like the head first. Because that one has all the, like the beak and the feather tufts on the head. And then flatten it out from there. Alright, so now I have turned my two pieces of paper into one. Put my clap, cap on my glue. Alright, now with your second sheet of paper, you're going to cut just kind of a section off. So you end up with more of a square, more of a square shape than a big shape. And you're going to fold it so that it's like a fan. So you're just going to fold. I fold it one and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to fold it back on itself. So it's making that zigzaggy shape. And you're just going to keep doing that through the whole sheet of paper. I think there's a fancy word for what to do, what this is, but I don't know it. do have some fun facts about cardinals prepared to share with you all. Um, so today when we're making these bright red cardinals, that's actually the male cardinal and not the female cardinal. The female cardinal is more of a brown color, kind of an ashy brown, so like gray brown color. And she does have a little bit of red, but she is not bright red like the males. The males are red so that they will attract a mate or a female because uh, females like the bright, pretty colors. All right, so now I have folded my sheet of paper so that it's nice and accordion and I want to kind of pinch it together so that it's nice and good. All right, so we're gonna set that aside for the moment and now we're gonna give our bird its face. So you can use this part as a reference. So cardinals are all red and they kind of have a black mask around their face um, so I'm just going to draw, I draw a line across the beak. I'm going to do that on both sides. And then you can just kind of guesstimate where the eye would be. Draw a circle there. Might try and line it up on the other side, put it in a circle. And then again, using this, I can see the mask kind of goes down around the eye and then down low again. Starts up here, goes down, around the eye, and down low again. And then I'm just going to copy that on the other side, around the eye, down low again. Alright, I'm going to use a black marker. I'm going to use a Sharpie. Do not use a Sharpie for this. I'm gonna go over it with black. I'm gonna put a circle around my eye. Another way that you could do the eye or the face, and this is the way that I did on my first one, was I actually cut out just this black part of the drawing and I just glued it right on there. That also works. Color that in, and then do the same to the other side. All right, so now my birdie's got face on both sides. Awesome sauce. So then we're going to do the wings. So the wings are going to go through your bird. So to make them, we're going to have to cut a hole 
into our bird. So you're gonna take your bird and imagine where the wings would attach. So about here probably. And then you're just gonna curve it a little and cut a slit into it. You don't really wanna fold your paper bird because you don't want it to have a big old crease in it. You just wanna bend it enough that you can cut through it or get a start on cutting through it. Trying to be gentle with my birdie. Don't want to bully it too much to make this happen. All right, so now you can see my bird has a hole in it right there. All right, now we're gonna use the wings. Fold those back up, crease them down good. I'm gonna take one end and just feed it through this hole. Hopefully I made it big enough, otherwise you can open it up a bit more. Nope, I did it. All right. And it's probably gonna open up your hole into more of a hole and less of a slit. And then just figure out where halfway is. And fold the wings there. There we are. So now my wings are through, my bird. Yep, looks like that. And then the last thing that you get in your bag is a ribbon. Um, you can do this step before or after the wings. I did it after because the hole is slightly bigger so it makes it easier. And you're gonna use that to tie through your bird. So you're gonna go through that same hole that was made by the wings, or for the wings, I guess. And you're gonna tie, you're gonna go through it. There's a couple different ways you can do it. You can just go through and then tie it up and kind of shimmy it over so it's in the middle or the back, depending on where it needs to be to balance your bird. My bird doesn't wanna balance, that's okay. Sometimes it just is like that. Anyways, you'll use your ribbon and tie it up on your bird and then you can hang it somewhere. Um, if you want to bring it down to me, I'll hang it on the trees behind me, which would look super, super awesome and I'd love to see that. Um, otherwise, you could hang it in your window or on your door, wherever you like. Um, I just hope that you enjoy this craft and have a lot of fun with it. Um, oh. Got a couple other cardinal facts for you before we go. Uh, they mate for life. So when they find their uh, partner, the one that they're going to like stay with, they stay with them for forever. Forever. Um, they like to eat sunflower seeds, corn, corn, peanuts, and fruit. Baby cardinals stay in their nest only for 9 to 11 days. So... Imagine that the babies are born and nine to 11 days later, they're out in the world on their own. And then cardinals live for about three years in the wild.